Hey everybody, it's Party Elite and we are back with some more Anno 1800 campaign gameplay today. Apart from a small situation with our flagship, things have been going pretty well, I think. Pretty well. But that's okay, the flagship will be replaced soon enough and uh, we'll be out We'll be out to sea in no time. Uh, it's, it's a tradition here on this channel, if you're new to the channel, to lose my flagship. I do it in, uh, in other games that have flagships as well. Now, let's not dwell on that. There's no point crying over spilt milk. Let's focus on what's coming up today. First things first, we're going to work towards... Actually, no. First things first, we're going to work towards making our people happy. Uh, they desire a church, which is what I'm going to give them as soon as I have enough bricks. I believe it's 25 bricks that I need. Yeah. So we'll get them the church so they'll be a little bit happier. Don't want to risk any riots or anything. I don't know if riots can happen until you've unlocked the police station, but um, just in case they can. I want to make sure they stay happy. Uh, we're almost there anyway. And, uh, and and then we're going to take care of Edvard's demands here as he tries to get us to pay off the uh, the funeral bill. Uh, you know, oh, I was going to say some really rude things about him, but then YouTube would demonetize me. Uh, but uh, over here, we have a bit of a situation. I don't know if I really need to rush to solve it or anything, but uh, we <laughs> I, I was a little... Uh, overzealous, I think, in how much timber I'd be using, and now we're at a surplus, and we're stuck at that surplus. Now, I could upgrade my warehouse and, and have more storage space and stuff. Um, no, 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 that just adds loading ramps. I need to up, uh, upgrade my, my port. I need to add more... Uh, where are they? There we go. Depots to increase storage. That is an option. But I'm not going to waste resources on that because we are going to be doing a fair bit of construction. Uh, so I'm going to let this stay active. I could go in and pause a lot of this well, and stop this uh, kind of wasted resources in terms of workforce. But we're going to be doing a lot of building this session, so no need to do that. Let's go ahead and get this church done. And as I get this church done, I want to mention that if you are enjoying this Let's Play and would like to see more of it, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. It does make a very, very big difference in uh, how I approach content on the channel. And it lets me know what you're interested in. It's a tremendous help, honestly. It's a tremendous help. Now, what is that star off in the distance? Glad I was looking. Hello. A little quest available over here. I wonder if I should buy a ship off of him. What is this quest? Pull up your braces and thrust into the unknown. Sounds hot. Uh, her Majesty received an alarming missive over her second breakfast. Some threats to undermine her authority, quite literally. Perhaps you could bring the matter to a peaceful climax. Mmm. Not sure. It's a pickup quest. I need a. I need a flagship. I need a ship of some sorts for that. I'll take that quest on later. I don't want to decline it, but. But I do want you gone. Okay, cool. I was worried that was going to count as a decline. All right, uh, church is up. Let's go ahead and work on these sails over here. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying while I set this up, uh, likes and comments make a very big difference. I do look at those numbers to kind of get a judgment call on what people are interested in. Uh, so make sure your voice is heard. Go ahead and get you set up like this, maybe. I'm in blueprint mode again. I do hate that you have to turn it on. I often forget to turn it on after loading into a save game. Um, but okay, so we got you over here. No. We're going to shift you over here. Let's get a warehouse over here. Because then uh, some of these things will have a shorter travel time. Right now they're going all the way to... Well, all the way to that warehouse over there. And I'd rather they go to something closer. So this will be nice and helpful for that. Uh, it should be helpful for our sales being produced as well. Let's go ahead and get the sheep farm. Mm, do something like this. And I'm planning. I, I don't want to do uh, double the production right now, but eventually I will need it. So I am going to plan for that. Um, they can't double down over here. What I could do, again, these are good for filling out weird spaces. So I could do something like that. Wow, that's awkward. That's really awkward. Otherwise, I mean, I don't need to do that. I could get a different kind of farm in here. Uh, I could nudge this over a little bit to make some more room for another slot. But then this road gets awkward, because what I'd like to do is get a road down over here, connecting these two. You know what? I think I should be able to actually do this. And if I do something like this with the second set, right, because that's my plan ultimately is to get a second set, then I should be able to do something like this. 
cool. And there's a lot of room back here. Maybe I'll be able to fit something in here eventually. Getting really tight packed and, and really pushed up against the coast over here. Not the coast, but uh, like these the, the riverbed. Um, just have to be wary about that. I'm trying to figure out what else I might be able to put in here. Not much comes to mind right now, but I think this will work for us. So let's go ahead and upgrade and get this stuff running. Let's put a road down over here just to double check that this works how it's supposed to. Build, build, and you can't build because of bricks. Two more bricks. That'll happen soon enough. I could up my brick production. My brick output is easy to up. There's a clay pit over here that I can build. Ooh, ruins. I bet if I destroy these ruins... I'll get clay. Or bricks, rather. The lights went off here long ago. These descriptors. Pick those up. Not that I need them. But I do need to get this thing built. Almost time. Okay, out comes the bricks. Out comes the bricks. And from here as well. Perfect. Smooth. Two at a time. Almost. Close enough proximity. So you're complaining that you don't have a warehouse. But the moment I have the sailmakers done, you should be able to pop on over and drop it off at the, at the, at the, at the sailmakers. And loading really does take its time, eh? You don't really realize it until you're right up against it. That's when you really realize it. But, there we go. Cool. Get you built, and now, yes, excellent. So this will transport it to here, one step away. And this also ensures that those, that wool will never be sent to a framework knitters. So it's a nice way of, uh, of securing my production lines. And hopefully you're not going to change your mind either. Yeah, you're going that way. Because this is too far away. And you're going this way. And then you guys will hopefully go, yep, right across to this warehouse. And right across to this warehouse. Boom. Efficiency. Efficiency managed, I suppose. I feel like a, I feel like a Harry Potter character saying mischief managed or something like that. Uh, all right. People are feeling happy. We've got clothes. We've got sales coming through. We've got... Uh, what else have we got? Churches. We need bread. Now, bread... There's a bit of a problem, because bread requires grain, flour mills, and bakery. And uh, I shouldn't say it's a problem, it's just uh, very space-consuming. Alright, I think it's time to tap into some of these clay pits. Question is, which one can I tap into more neatly? I think this one is pretty clean, it's out of the way. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, I'll pop you here. Uh, get a warehouse down on this side, I think, because eventually we'll want to tap into this limestone deposit as well. Give that a short path. Uh, thinking thinking for the future. Thinking for the future. So, small warehouse over here. We're going to get a clay pit over here. I want to make sure I... That instead. And so, the clay will get dropped off. And then it'll, again, teleport down to here. And then the, it'll go down to these two factories. But that means we need some more workers. And... Uh, I want to get some more farmer workforce set up as well. No reason not to, really. We've got the timber for it. God knows we've got the timber for it. Especially now that he's watching all of our moves. He knows exactly how much uh, timber we're, we're packing. Go ahead and get that like so. What I'd like to do is eventually uh, pretty up this central area. Make it like a plaza or something. Make it feel like uh, an arrival spot. Um, you can get visitors, harbors, and stuff, so... I might look at a different spot, like maybe I'll, maybe I'll make, oh, you know what? I'll make this the tourist haven. Yeah, we've got another like landing point over here. I think that'd be pretty cool. I could get a zoo and a museum and stuff far away from our people. It's not for them, it's for the tourists so we can make money. Um, all right, <laughs> classism aside, let's go ahead and get this built. And let's upgrade this lot. I like doing it in sets. Ooh, new quest has been unlocked, and we've also unlocked new buildings, which is good, because again, we need steel beams to capture new islands, and uh, we also need a ship to capture new islands, so I'd very much like to have sales. one. Looks like I've got my sails that, that he wanted in storage, so go ahead and take them. Nothing you do will lift the cloud. And this guy. This guy. I will gun him down one day. That's, by the way, not like a spoiler or anything. I don't know what happens. I, I, in you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Uh, I need a boat. I purposely tried to skip as much of the uh, storyline as possible when, uh, when I was playing. Like, the, the, the latter stuff. The early stuff, of course, I needed to get a concept of what was happening. 
but I didn't want to spoil anything for anybody by mistake at any point in time. So I don't have a ship yet. But I need to save some people over here. Question is, can I purchase a ship? I'm not the type to think all people bad. So let's just wait and see how you go. Oh no. Why 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 are we What Ooh. makes you think I trust? Why are you upset at me, man? <laughs> why are you upset at me? I, I, I do need to find our chap, our good old chap. Here he is. Taking the initiative. Excellent. Who might sell me, perhaps, a ship. Like Anyone this ship. For croquet? Oh, that's pretty cheap, actually. Or maybe that's what he was ask, waiting for me to do. He's like a small flagship named Merlin. Sure, I hope nobody wanted to name that previous one. Oh. But you're my long-lost twin brother. Um, I should mention that I am actually recording this episode back-to-back -back with my previous episode. Uh, because, well, a couple of reasons. The main one being that this week is absolutely ridiculous in terms of... Uh, in terms of the kinds of things I have to do, both for my day job and for the channel. Uh, the amount of things I have to do, rather. So I am trying to double down where I can so I can keep a constant flow. So if you had any name suggestions or tips or questions in the comments, I do apologize that I can't address them this episode. Uh, but do know that I will read them all. I do read all the comments, even when I can't reply to them. Uh, and I either uh, address them in game or, or in the comments. So keep them coming, folks. Keep them coming. And uh, give us a give us a name for this flagship. Merlin ain't bad, but let's get us let's get ourselves a new name. Let's go ahead and pick up these castaways and see what they're saying. Can't believe I'm still doing favors for this fool. Go ahead and pick you up. And... Ah, okay. Wait, Edvard's political Saved. prisoners. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Yes. Edvard's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edvard's seal. Ooh. Okay. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Ah, yes. This part. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. So, uh... Letter. He's clearly up to no good. If they would stop talking for a minute. However like, much we oh despise my God. <laughs> Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. So, for the longest time, I wanted to show something as well, which is why I was dancing around. You'll notice that uh, these little arrows around your ship, they indicate wind direction. So, you can actually see the difference in speed. Like, if I go against the wind, watch how slow this ship traverses the, uh, the water here. It's extremely slow, going against the wind, of course, as it should be. But if I turn around and try to go the other way here, with the wind, look how much faster it goes. And I think that's really cool. And you that, that does affect the speed of trade, it affects the speed of battle, it affects which way you're looking, and all, 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 like, which way you'll want to look to get good, efficient shots off on the enemy. It's pretty great. Pretty great. Uh, okay. What are we doing? We're opening this letter, or we're... Okay, hold on. Before I do that, let's take a look at this side quest here. Let those people sit on my ship. I'm happy as a same boy. Will you build us another castle? What do you want? Those dimwits skipping our union meeting to drink the second I look away. My comrades need to hear my proposal. Lend me your authority to gather them up, Gov. All right. These are good times. Could they be even better? Find and collect the workers' comrades. Okay. Another one of these missions. Okay. What are they supposed to look like? Of course it goes to the pub. Are they actually at the pub? There's some quests where the people you want are actually at, um, like in in a school. I haven't had this little quest. Ah, there we go. Is that all of them. A little yep. love is all we ever wanted. Ooh, uh, maintenance cost reduction and extra goods affects the slaughterhouse. I like that. I like that a lot. So I could put. So basically, that is an item that I can equip at a trade union. Trade unions are pretty chunky buildings, but we have a funny slot over here that I could fit it into and cover the radius over here. Maybe I put it over here instead on this side. Uh, and then we'll just know to get more slaughterhouses here when we eventually need them. So I just need to keep that in mind uh, for down the line. Cool. Well, let's get the road extended over here. And let's go ahead and build that trade union over here. 
Time to time to unionize the slaughterhouses. And let's go ahead and add our charcutier. Maintenance, cost reduction, and extra goods. Occasionally produces extra tallow. Ah, oh, interesting. So I might get extra tallow from the slaughterhouse rather than needing the um, rendering works. That's a big deal, except it's occasional, so I can't rely on it, really. Let's go ahead and get this guy here anyway, though. There we go, upping these two things. Now, it's tempting, actually. I was going to separate my soap production and my sausage production because of the... Um, because of the overlaps, but now it's a bit more tempting to put them in the same spot. Your productivity is 100%, but so your maintenance cost is reduced and you might give us extra goods. Let's keep an eye out for that. Let's keep an eye out for that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this letter now. Sure, why not? Why not? Why don't we pick some timber up? And let's go ahead and get the uh, bricks going as well. We've got the workers. There we go. You should do that. Taking care of some house housekeeping. Uh, all right. Sealed document. It bears Uncle Edvard's seal. Should you open this private correspondence? All right. I just did. <laughs> uh, dear Governor Bleakworth, more of the Traitor Samuel's conspirators. Crimes and sentences as follows. Ernest Sterling, use of foul language, 16 years with hard labor. Verity Goodhart. <laughs> oh my god, these names. I just realized... The jokes with these names. Verity Goodhart, impersonation, transportation to the Antipodes, I'm guessing. Uh, Elias Noble, writing a threatening letter, life imprisonment. Honora Decent, character assassination, life imprisonment. The judge saw very well my view that any lack of proof that they conspired with a traitor was, in itself, evidence that they're hiding something. All things considered, his verdict could have been far worse. While I'm under no obligation to explain such details, I thought that as a fellow dispenser of justice, the facts of the case may be of interest to you. Sincerely, Edvard Good. Yeah, so all their names are, are like... Like Ernest, Sterling, Verity, Goodhart, Elias, I don't know, but Noble, you know, Honor, Decent, funny, uh, but clearly political prisoners. It cannot be. These names are those Father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. Okay. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. Maybe it runs in the family, buddy. Alright, are we done here? With that back and forth? I'm worried that I'm going to start doing something and they're going to start talking again. No, looks like we're good. Okay. Um, so we're good for sales. Let's go ahead and check if we are getting any tallow. R. Mmm. I like that. Alright. So I definitely want more. Well, that's just for slaughterhouses. Hold on now. That's just for slaughterhouses. Rendering works in slaughterhouses are different. So I can keep my rendering works elsewhere because the truck... The charcutier does not affect rendering works. Alright, so I can still keep them separate. Let's do that then. Because I need to get soap. People here want soap. I, oh, first we need iron. Or steel beams, rather. Because uh, some of these buildings here, as you can see, require steel beams to construct. Getting ahead of myself here. Getting excited to show new things. I need an iron mine, but it's locked off right. So what's up with this quest here? Bring Edvard's political prisoners to Eli Bleakworth, or bring Edvard's political prisoners to Sir Archibald Blake. Let's finish this quest off. Let's go over to Sir Archibald Blake. Of course, we are not doing any more business or any more avers for Edvard here. Not a chance in hell. So let's come on over here. It'll take us a quick second. We're right there. And in the meanwhile, let's admire the beauty of this game. I mean, un undeniably, one of the prettiest city builders... I have seen in a very, very long time. The level of detail is tremendous. I love seeing just like the people roaming around, the variety of animations they've got going on, even when the birds fly by. Uh, the, the ships are amazing. You can get really close and personal with some of these dutiful sailors. Well, are they sailors? Would you be a sailor if you yeah, ran a sailor. gun at the port? I don't know how that works. There we are, coming through, coming through. And I heard something about news. Ah, 
Nothing. What is it you are bringing? I am bringing something of particular importance. Did he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. Beautiful. All right, let's pull on back. That was none of your business. And what right has the crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? Every right. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. All of us quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. Of course he would. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. What can I say? We're good people. Harry, I already smell the tar. See, the masts are swaying from Father's study. All right, so a sailing shipyard, if I'm not mistaken, oh, can be done with just timber and bricks. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get that done, because why not? Let's put you on this side over here. Uh, I think I still need a road connection. You might be connected, but just in case, let's go ahead and do that. And let's get you built. Let's Our get some ships. Historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Of course. I agree wholeheartedly. Are we are we documenting it? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, take a photo. Um, how do we want to do this? Alright, you know what we're gonna do? It's like a it's like a message. Right? Like our ships are coming for you, buddy. Our ships are coming for it. Gotta get it just right. Alright. Uh, yeah, okay. That works. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Perfect snapshot to illustrate history in the making. Absolutely. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves... Well, I don't want schooners. <laughs> I need to get some weapons Start made. Off if I dare presume, a most fruitful partnership. All right, Phoenix from the Ashes. Goods heirs create a breakaway shipping company in the image of their father, who they say was a man of principle. After all, there is no surefire evidence he did anything wrong at all. Absolutely. All right, good shot. Darkford did a good job there. Ooh, chapter two begins. A sign of fire. Oh, so beautifully done. I love the typography, the animation. It's all very nice. So Sorry. Build ships. Supporting her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. Okay, right. So sorry, I clicked and it must have skipped. So uh, a the mission for the royal fleet, and in such quantity, a rare honor indeed. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? God, they keep interrupting. Um, so this bulk order quest is a quest I for the Queen. The papers, so Sir Archibald ships. Blake saw the news of your first shipyard in the newspaper and has asked for a bulk order of ships for the Queen. So it the Queen be strangely fitting if you were to supply the Queen's fleet. The Queen apparently needs a fleet with which to sail to the New World, where she intends to take back the island Prosperity, which her father allegedly sold. So what I need to do is uh, I need to get these ships built and uh, and get them sold to Sir Archibald Blake. But to do that, I need access to iron. And unfortunately, uh, if we just click over here, you'll see that the iron is beyond this barrier. So we have to solve that problem. I see the iron is beyond our reach. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. Ah. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. I agree. All right. So let's go ahead and begin our first phase here. We've got the timber. We don't have the bricks. Perhaps uh, they... not refined enough for your sister, but at least your workers can start their dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, the, the resources will get delivered over time. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the phase. And we'll get this road moving over. So they will have to go to the warehouse nearby, which is down here. So I think what I'll do is get this road down like so. That should make it easy. Yeah, cool. They'll go down here. They'll pick up the materials they need and drop them off over here. Our clay production or brick production needs these to be completed otherwise it won't actually work efficiently party come on man 
Um, so that will help, and if we break this down, the whole idea was a rush of hot blood. Now, but a scab on the land remains. Um, hopefully this will give us some bricks. Looks like a kind of building that'll give us some bricks. And then we can use that to assist the construction of, uh, of this. Now this, I might want to consider upgrading soon. It is getting really packed really quickly. If I upgrade it, then two more loading rounds will be made available, and it won't be slowed down so much. Then again, this is our timber one, which is already going fast enough, so I think we're fine. <laughs> I think we're fine. What's wrong with you? Missing goods. Of course you're missing goods. They're coming, though. Don't worry. They're coming. All right, these guys are working away, working away. And what was I doing over here? I was planning out soap. Right, but I need the steel beams. And for the steel beams, I need the iron. And for the iron, I need to blow this up. So, we're in a bit of a... What are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter wanting proper expertise. Us? Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on. I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. Mr. Ticker. Good sense. God, I love the writing in this game. Um, okay, so... First phase is still working. Search for demolition experts explosives shop near Edvard's Timber Production. Well, this is Edvard's timber production, and the explosive shop is... Well, this is all, like, woodcutting and stuff. Commerce it's a brick factory. Industry. There it is. I can't think why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Okay. Oh, search for the demolitions expert in the stone pit at Prison Governor's Island. Alright. Uh, who here looks like they could be a dynamite expert? Stopped. Oh, we need more, need more clay. I'd do anything to dodge Mr. Bleakworth's treadmill, but no, <laughs> I'm not your expert. Oh, was that it? Yeah, okay, that was it. Samuel Goods Engineer? Aye, that's me. Who's asking? Alright, um... That's the least nope. I'm due for my suffering. Jeez. We are a little low on capital, but that's okay. Go ahead and take this money. He is ready for transportation. Cool. Man, the prison governor is shipped to your island. Uh, so yeah, so I, I, I again, I have. Keep an eye to the horizon for miscreants. And a ship to collect the demolitions expert. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I about to say? Right, yeah. So I have played the uh, the campaign, like I said, but uh, all this early stuff feels so long ago. It's like a distant memory. A very, very distant memory. All right, bricks are coming through, timbers coming through, slowly but surely. Get done in due time. Get done in due time. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of timber here and get a little bit of bricks up here. Cool. This is all working, I think, smoothly enough. Yeah, I think we're working smoothly enough. Why would you go down here? That does not make an ounce of sense. I think it's probably because this one gets busy so often. I'll want to upgrade this warehouse soon. Soon, soon. First, I want to have all the bricks set aside for this. It's taking its time to get down there. That That's pretty far away for it, I guess. That's fine, though. All right, but we do have to finish that before we can do anything else. I could build some more housing if I wanted to. What else do the people want? Bread. I mean, I guess I could get to work on this. There is some brick requirement, but... Gotta get the people He's happy. Here. Try to make a good first impression, Eldest. Any friend of father is a friend of ours. Yes, yes. All right, there he is. Oh my god, is that just TNT? <laughs> oh dear. So, I'm a commodity now, to be bought and sold. Your father treated me like a human being. Hmm. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here, but it won't bring Samuel back. Not what I'm trying to achieve at all. How much further along are we? Oof, five more a piece coming through. Should be fine. Should be fine. We've unlocked new buildings. That police station is out of reach. Farmers have everything mining they need. For you, mining for Eli. What's the difference? I'm a better person. That's the difference. Odd. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't have a fire station. I guess these guys are close enough. But I don't have one up here. That does concern me. Could, like, slot it in over here. Could slot it in over here. I feel like there's lots of room that I don't want to waste over here. I'm trying to find a nice, like, snug spot that this can just kind of tuck into. Do that. 
White Sands will never be matched if that's what you're set on. Not with that attitude, man. Not with that attitude. How are we doing production over here? Has stopped. Keep stopping production. Just because of this distance. I'm not going to build a warehouse just for this construction here. Almost done. Almost done. Let's go ahead and clear some of these uh, spaces out. So we can prepare for our expansion. And let's plot our bread basket. So if this is going to be tourist central, uh, this could be where we put some of the farmland. Greed is hollow. Like the smashed up local saloons and its pilfered lockboxes. Um, ooh, another one over here. A town cannot blossom if it's built on lies. It's an abandoned sawmill. What does a sawmill have to do with lies? Got bricks. Any more bricks over here? So if we pull down this way and get our bread happening here, what we can do as well down the line is leave some beach over here because sand is a resource that we'll need eventually. So I'll leave some beach area, and this can be kind of a manufacturing slash farming hub, I suppose. Let's go ahead and see if we can't pull this road out this way. I gotta pick this up, but I can't because we're full. Alright, let's go ahead and build more houses. Go ahead and get uh, you upgraded. Go ahead and pick you up. There we go. And now, let's get this road out here. Hopefully that's enough space for what I Production need down there. Stopped. We'll find out together. I don't want to have a bad split, is the thing. Uh, anyway, what we need to focus on now is the bread. The future will come later. So the the ratio here is interesting as well. So the grain takes a minute, the flour mill takes 30 seconds, and then the bakery takes a minute. So what that means is we need two grain farms and two bakeries or one flour mill. Yes. So... Get our first grain farm all the way off in the distance? I think so. Give some more room for housing, potentially. And the grain farms do get pretty big. They get pretty big. And let me see if that's the way I want to lay it out. Uh, 144. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11, 12. It'll be a 12 by 12 grid, but that won't be a perfect square like this. Oh, yeah, it will. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's one set. And I could get another set. The other thing I could do is... This is what I usually do. Is I do... Uh, is it that way? I think it's like this. We get the flour mill, which we need one of. And the bakery, which we need... Two of. So no, so we get the other grain farm over here somewhere. The, the visual guide. I can do something like this. Hmm. That looks nice. I like it to look nice, but I also want to take advantage of this like weird space we have because nothing else can do it. Something like that. One twenty-two. One forty-two. Just need two more spots. Come on, baby. Somewhere nice. Somewhere tucked away. So let's do that. And then we need a second one. Which can maybe fill up some of the gaps here. And... Ain't perfect. Probably do. I can do it like that. Leave some space over here for some other stuff closer to the road. So that's our, like, grain farm step one. So... Two grain farms for one flour mill, and then two bakeries for one flour mill as well. I can put the bakeries on the other side like so. It'll be instantly transported over. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, and then the warehouse can be tucked See to the side here. magnanimous I am, giving you work. Offers me a destruction quest. Well, that sounds super cool. This chap won't like it, but my twin brother will. The money involved. Big box of dynamite explosion productivity boost for mountain mines when activated. Oh, okay. That's huge. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and accept that quest. This is something I haven't seen before. Desperate to make something of yourself, I see. I gotta destroy two schooners, and I have 30 minutes to do it. All right, we'll, 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 we'll dive on that soon. Hold on a second. 
Go ahead and get these bakeries set up. Well, first of all, I want to see what the warehouse would look like. If I put it here, because I want it to have access to more than just these things. And then the bakeries would go... Here and here. Gonna do that. That should do the trick down here. I think. God, it doesn't look as clean as I'd like it to, but it's functional. Oh, so that co costs us some farmer workforce. This will cost us some more farmer workforce. And this will cost us workers. And then there's the warehouse. So that should get us bread going at an efficient rate over here. I think I've got the ratios right. Again, if you notice any errors, feel free to let me know in the comments. I don't get upset unless it's... Uh, yeah, as long as it's constructive, I don't mind. Um, and sometimes when you're recording and stuff, little things slip your gaze. Anyway, two schooners. Just these two schooners just sitting there? Dusky Hawk, this Alasia. Alright. Something's up with that. Something is up with that. We don't have any items, right? Oh, we do have you for the damage slowdown. You know what, let's go ahead and pick her up. Just in case there's a mystery waiting to happen over here. But there's some nice rewards that I can use from it. Let's go ahead and get... You on board. Excellent. And now we're going to send you over. And we're going to be very careful with you. Be very careful with you. But what's the deal over here? Oh, we're ready for the next phase. Um, Let's deal with this first, shall we? Deal with this first. It's going to take us a second to get there. God, even this is beautiful. Wish I could lay out a city like this without a care for regular people. We are not with the wind, unfortunately. But you will see that the wind direction has changed. Wait, what are you saying? No, no warehouse? We lack the oh no, missing materials. resources. That's fine. They'll get it soon enough. That'll come through soon enough. And then we'll have bread, and once we have bread, these people will be a lot happier. We'll need soap, and we'll need schools. And that'll come in due time. That'll come in due time. We can maybe get another block upgraded. Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Police station is now available. I would like to put it down over here, I think. It's a good place to put it right next to the market where, you know, things can go down. It's a town center. Good reach, as you can see. We'll plop you down over here. Just in case anybody gets any clever ideas about uh, how much work they have to do. Clear up the roads a little bit. Or the path, I should a fire say. Broke out. Ooh, a fire. All right. Listen to the music. kind of quiet, but the music changes right away. It gets super dramatic. Oh, uh, what I can actually do, it's a, it's a, it's a decent size fire, but I think one unit should be able to take care of it. What you can do is you can actually uh, mobilize a second unit, but I don't think we'll need to. Well, now you can hear the music. Pretty cool. I like it at least. I like it. I think we'll be fine here. One unit should be fine. Alright, cool. Uh, what's happening up top over here? Nothing. We have room for the sails. We don't need them just yet. We're not producing any ships anyway. And this should be going smoothly now. Cool. Looks to be. Find out. Red will come through hopefully shortly. There's our first load coming through, I think. You still got a ways to go. Man, a bit of a slow ship. We're not really going with the wind or anything either, so that makes sense. All right, back over here. Has the fire been taken care of? Not just yet. Ooh, it is spreading a little bit. I don't like that. It is causing a fair bit of damage. You know what? It doesn't it doesn't hurt too much. It costs just a little bit of money. Might as well mobilize. Should have done it sooner. People's lives at stake. Also, like to be making more money. That is. The lowest my uh, wealth has ever gone. So it's a little scary. Might want to consider setting up some trade. Like, does anybody want... Well, not with you. Wait, do you seriously claim my island? Come to lord it over an old man. Oh, no, 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 no. That is, that is not good. Game saved. Oh, that's not good. 
Huh. I've been cut off. Oh, this man. Does he look like he needs timber? Holy crap, this guy's pretty well set. Another interruption. Better be worth it. I wish I could see what they wanted before I started a trade right uh trade agreement, but let's see if uh if going to the diplomacy. Holy crap, I got a lot of work to do. Has been vanquished. A lot of work to do. They are okay with trade rights. Ch chance of success is zero. Uh you crescent pinch fist. I guess not. I guess they're not okay. I misread the uh, reputation up symbol for um the brutes are rich, from willing to trade. And the meek impoverished. All is as it should be in the world. Okay. This is not uh not good and also this guy is horrible. Holy crap. I need to not hear his sound clips. I need to not help him. Why did I take on his quest? <laughs> All right, for money and dynamite. Same reason most people do most things. Okay, um, money and dynamite. Kind of waiting. I wanted to finish that quest before I dove into this. Let's go ahead and get uh, the school set up. The problem, the the big uh, problem for me is going to be beer. Oh, it's going to be a big problem. I'm going to have to import hops from this guy or something. Ah, damn. Or I can prepare to go to war with him for a hostile takeover of his island. He doesn't seem pretty well prepared or anything. So no use changing now. Oh, This island has hops fertility. This island does not. I mean, I could try to colonize this one. I need those steel beams. Maybe I'm dallying a little bit too much. I think I might be. Let's go ahead and get this done. I'm still waiting for the boom. Well, it looks like we need some wool, so you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. We have no extra wool, so maybe I'm going to pause the production of sales. Or, sorry, of sales. Taking we don't need any more. Like yep. you said we could. Taking a break. Do it. We need, uh... We need wool. Wish I'd done that a bit sooner. What's the deal here? There we go, far away. He's trying to get away over there. That's not acceptable. Wind will not be with us, and schooners are fast. Not these ones, apparently. Hey, okay. we're obviously firing broadside, so you have to face the right direction to get shots in versus chase. Which is cool, there's like a touch of micromanagement, but it's not like a devastating amount of micromanagement. Not an RTS. We'll fire on this one. Go ahead and turn so we can get those broadsides in. Keep the chase on as well. Oh, there we go. This is nice. This very much works in my favor. Why would you turn like that? Yeah, let's rotate. Let the other side of the crew get some action in. Alright, one more volley should do the trick. There it is. Fake proof of... Deliver to Vaughn Malching's greasy clipper. Fake proof of Malching's wreckage. What do you mean, fake proof? What do you mean, fake proof? Wow, going real slow here. Piece of wood bearing the name of the sunken ship. Why does it say fake? Anyway. I won't judge it. Bring that ship back over here as quickly as possible. And let's start the phase, please. Hopefully we're going to start storing. I might want to upgrade this as well. Do it. This is a really busy one. Hold the conveyor. You're just stuck there. So let's go ahead and attach the roads like that. I could pause our clothes production as well and just maximize our uh, wool production. So we can hurry and, and get steel, because I, I need to claim some islands, man. Quickly. Got enough clothes. Okay, I'll let you finish that one. There we go. We got enough clothes. Wear, wear some rags on repeat a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We're okay. Alright, there we go. Wool's coming through. Stable. Stable. Not being used. You should be able to deliver to here. 
And again, we've got four slots now because we have upgraded this warehouse. Not only does it look a lot nicer, but it also functions a lot better as well. Yeah, we are delivering to here. They're popping up a little bit faster. And you will be delivering to here as well. Cool. As will you. All right. All in good time. Pretty cool to see it all kind of expand and stuff as well. Again, there's lots of little, like, details and stuff that I really like. My ship almost back? No. <laughs> no, it is not. Got 20 minutes left. We have a lot of ships to build. Let's go ahead and build the uh, schooner, actually. Because we need one. Might as well get it out of the way. No need to delay that. But the uh, gunboats will take some time, and the frigate, I need some artisans for that. So we need to get these people happy. We need soap, and we need schools. And again, for soap, I need the, the steel beams. I think a school might need steel beams as well. So, bit of a standstill, bit of a standstill. Okay, though. Carrying seven at a time? Come on, man. Hurry it up. You can carry more than that. There probably wasn't more to carry, is my guess. Okay, one more load like that, and we should be good. Well, not actually, not technically, mathematically speaking. Oh, four. Come on, faster, faster. Good. But he's going to come through soon. Hopefully we'll have eight to pick up. Make my life easier. Very much appreciate that. Calmly watching as this dude comes through with his cart. Where's my ship? Still coming through. I could speed up time. It's very tempting to do that. So there are some of these like slow moments in the uh, in the game that come through every once in a while. And you kind of wonder, it's like, uh, I guess I could speed through some of this. I guess I could speed through some of this. Go double speed. Oh, so we didn't need 15. W what? <laughs> All right, sure. Well, let's unpause before again. I forget. Nice day for it. You start again now. That's when you start. Hide the bottle. It's the boss. Some scared broke closure, oh. did they? What? <laughs> let's go ahead and get this. Strong liquor kept the tin men digging blind. Ooh, that's terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing to ignite, I suppose. I guess I didn't need that. Well, that's kind of silly, but okay. Who are all these busybodies? Blowing up rocks can't be that complicated. A shame you can't appreciate the craft this requires. Never mind. The charges have been primed. The perimeter cleared. We are ready to detonate. Boom. My apologies! That was indeed impressive! Is there anything dynamite won't solve, I wonder? A special nice. edition for a special happening. This makes everybody happy. Big blast in the mountains secures a vital iron load for ambitious good siblings, venturing into warship manufacture for the monarch herself. Explosive development. Good stuff. Iron into steel, steel into arms, and we shall have fulfilled our first royal commission. Indeed. Indeed, sister, indeed. Let's go ahead and get this all set up so iron or steel beams are an interesting situation as well. So, once Buddy arrives, which is soon, we'll have something to boost the production of the uh, steel mines as well, if I recall correctly. Where is it? Yeah, so if I get into a trade union, it increases productivity, but also explosion chance for all mountain mines when activated. Oh, just for five minutes. Should have caught that. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that now. Anyway, uh, we'll ignore it for now then. So, we need an iron mine, charcoal kilns, furnaces, and steelworks. The way the math works here is uh, I'm tempted to pause because I feel like I'm falling behind my here. opponents. 
Yeah, yeah, you can have it. So, you've managed to muddle through. Yes. Oh, I can use explosives on... Uh, oh, you can use those on uh, on ships as well. Anyway, uh, the math here. So, 45 seconds for a steelworks, which means that I have... I can get three iron mines, one and a half furnaces, and one and a half coal char charcoal kilns. Is that right? 45 seconds. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. I need three steelworks to one iron mine. Two furnaces and two charcoal kilns. Okay. Because this will take 15 seconds and deliver it here, where it'll take 30 seconds. So another one. Yeah, okay. So we're, we'll claim that iron mine. Go ahead and get the uh, furnaces like so. Alright, we'll need two charcoal kilns. We'll work on that in a bit. Two furnaces and then three steelworks. But I don't know if I want to get three of these steelworks done. This will be kind of hard to place as well. Let's see how this road comes through. Got this road up here as well that we can track. No, that won't come through cleanly. And then there's this road as well that we can track through. That'll come through a bit more cleanly. Let's start with this one. All right, we can do that. And that. And so we want three of these. Now, actually, what I'll probably do is build two of them and then build a, uh, a weapon factory because they have overlap, as you can see. But I'll want to have some surplus go into the weapons factory instead. So let's just go with two steelworks. Here might be the best spot for them. You know what, actually? Hold on. Let's get these in a more centralized position to make for easier access from both of these iron mines. Can't take you up that way. Why'd you have to be a funky shape? Something like that. You, we can put like this and like this, right? Space for a road in between, perhaps. And then I can do... Hmm. One and... Two, or... I can do one... And... Sorry, folks. <laughs> two... I feel it reflects the times. And then three be a smooth production line and it reflects the times you say let's see if i agree entirely marvelous to meet you and that we may show truth or or anything actually in my uh, our broadsheet yes i think i do like how this looks so this all will give us a buff so this gives us extra happiness this reduces riot chance and this gives no effect fine the way this works is we can edit it if we want to use some of our influence that we gain over time and adjust some of the news if we feel the need to do that. But this is all fine. The only thing I want to change is call it the Party Chronicles. Did news ever die out? Why should it? Uh, no. Not an inclination uh, uh, of yours, is it? Printed news will never die. Don't worry. Don't worry, good sir. So a new company takes root. Party Train Unlimited settles first island. Hopes abound that this seed will germinate into a great leafy tree. Bows, bows, heavy with golden fruit. In historic edition, we profile company pioneer and enjoy the positivity. Who knows if we shall see its like again. Of course we will. Happiness and light. Rich water is quite full of mirth. Eight and three-fifths from ten is how I score my present feeling, one resident remarked during recent census. Yet I am not completely delirious. Uh, ship bought. The Merlin was bought from Sir Archibald Blake. Good. Let's publish it. Only want to change the name, I said. Party Chronicles, please. Publish it. Uncompromising. And he likes the fact that we're telling the truth in the news, of course. All right, so this looks pretty good. Uh, how, where can I fit a warehouse here? Not here, unless I nudge you over a bit, which I wouldn't mind doing. It would let me fit a warehouse like so. Um, all right, here's what we'll do. Can I tuck the warehouse... Like so. I asked that question, but I know the answer to it already. I can. Right? So that'll connect everything here, and then we get the road back here. And then we get the fire station that I cannot be without over here. Right over here? Yeah. 
Nice little nook that it'll tuck into. And this will need a lot more workers. So let's go ahead and build some housing. All right, let's get you. That. That. Uh, and then let's go ahead and expand up this way as well. Whoops. Like so. And like so. Get the roads set up. If you forget to put the roads in, the houses actually fall apart. And then you have to pay to upgrade them again. Okay, let's get all this set up. So. And we'll want a lot more workers. A lot more workers. Because the way this works is... Uh, let's see. So this will take 50. We have just the one. This will take 20. I need to I need to place these actually. So that's 70 already. 170. 270, sorry. 670. And then 720. Yeah, we need a lot more work. A lot more work is. So let's go ahead and plot these charcoal kilns out. They are also based on trees and tree proximity, so let's try and get this done right over here. I think I want to put you here. How close can I get you? No, that's not accurate. Let's do that. And that should do the trick. A long way to that warehouse, unfortunately. But they don't need to get to the warehouse, they just need to get to here. Alright, cool. So that should be fine. We will eventually change these roads to uh, paved streets, I think, because it is faster. But first. Let's hope these houses fill up. We might need some more clothes coming through. I need to claim an island fast. I don't want to have to import hops. And what I could do, I think, I could say I would like hops. Not sure how this is going to affect my income. Goods will be bought up to the limit set. I could just buy hops and prepare for our beer situation. Alternatively, I could buy beer, but beer is likely to be more expensive. Let's see what happens over here and how much it costs us. Purchase price is 60. Not too bad. Oof. Not too good either. This number needs to be going up, 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 not down, down, down. Can I get any upgrades happening? No, none of these guys are ready to upgrade, and I think that's probably because of clothes. Uh, we need to get some more clothes production happening. Alright, we've kind of run out of space over here, but uh, let's see what we can do, shall we? Let's see if we can't build. Another farm here. One that will get... One, two, three. Oh yeah, it's three. Three slots. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then the framework knitters would be over here. And they'd connect like that. I think I can do that. Let's do it. I need it. We're going to start reaching our, like, oh, upper limit. And we that's not going to help at all. Not going to help at all. Alright. How long does it take for hops to come through? Because a ship actually has to physically arrive and deliver it. That's my flagship. We assist however we may. Oh, you're my schooner. That I'm planning on delivering. Or trading with. Came from all over. But they're in the same boat now. Yeah, I'm not sure who, who's going to be trading with me. But somebody is, and hopefully they're going to be bringing what I need. Uh, full output storage. Wait. People have all the sausage they want? Well, in that case... Have all the sausage you want. Let's go ahead and pull this down to, say, 50. Set up an automatic trade, rather than a plan to trade. This is when passive ships kind of come through, go by, pick up stuff. It's not as controlled, so I don't have as much... Um, I don't have as much control, like, yeah, I don't have much control over it. Wow, it only sells for 38, but it buys for 96. That is ridiculous. Make sure we're only selling. Yeah, don't need to Maybe buy we'll ever, it. ever. You guys happy now? Clothes are coming through. 
I could buy clothes as well if I needed to, but I don't think that'll be necessary. I just have to wait for this uh, production to happen to catch up. Don't go that way. Go this way. I should have. Yeah, okay, fine. You're up here. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Clothes coming through. Yes, they are. Can we upgrade some of you? Yes, we can. Upgrade. Sure, all of you. Almost all of you. Like to do it all at once, but I guess we can't. Not this time. A couple slots left. They'll get their clothes soon enough. They'll get their clothes soon enough. And what I could do is I could make all the workers on this side as I expand, and all the uh, farmers on this side because this is where all our agriculture is going to be happening. Um, but yeah, numbers are growing. We still need like twice as many as we actually have right now. And we need it fast. These bad boys are a little scary. I want this island. It's a nice big chunky island. Don't you dare go down to this one. I could buy some steel perhaps. To go out with. Might not be a terrible idea. Might not be a terrible idea, but I'm going to think about that idea being terrible or good next time. Because right now, we're going to call it a session, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone a little bit over that hour mark that I like to keep these at. Definitely having some uh, output storage filling, meaning we need more people, but we shouldn't get more people until we get more clothes and basic needs for them. Because otherwise, they'll be unhappy and there will be riots. Managing all that will have to happen later, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see this series continue. It does really help me make some of these decisions for content on the channel, especially when things get particularly busy. Uh, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. And a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.